Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a Sephora haul and it's going to be a good one because as you can see, I literally have this bag almost overflowing and this, yeah, this is basically just a video about what I got in Toronto when I was in Gen Beauty. There are a few things that I ordered online beforehand because I needed it. Like I needed this makeup brush cleaner so I ordered a few other things with it. Um, but like 98% of it I did get it at Gem Beauty. I just wanted to include the items I ordered online so you can kind of see what I've gotten this month. And yeah, so if you're interested to see what I got, make sure to keep on watching. So it is my birthday month. So the first thing I got was this little tartlet blush and lipstick and this I did get online just because I was thinking like what if they're out in store this is really what I wanted. So I got the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Party and the liquid lipstick tart lip paint in birthday suit. So I haven't swatched these. I, guys I held out on everything. I have not touched any of this so I'm pretty impressed with myself okay this is a pretty nude color if you don't know already um, the tart um, blush in the shade expose is my most used blush so that's just what they look like here very nice very pretty tart is one of my favorite brands as well so fun facts so the next thing is the Aurora Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is one of the items I was most excited for in store. I wasn't thinking of buying it, but then Marika came over with swatches and I was like, I need one in my basket. Um, so I'm just going to do a few swatches for you because you need this in your life. Ooh, girl! And they're very funky and very nice. I'm super excited to create a few looks with this. Look at that. Girl! Like, that's so, oh, that's all I have to say, okay? Let's not just say it all. Um, so I got that guy. Um, another thing I ordered, okay, so I that I got in store. This I ordered online. It is the Sephora Cake and Bake Liquid and Powder Makeup Sponge um, by Vera Mona. And I got this guy because Manny MUA is always raving about it. And I plan on doing a Battle of the Beauty sponges very soon. I want to do three high-end sponges versus low-end sponges. So this is going to be one of my high-end sponges. Next is the thing I did the online order for. And it's the Cinema Secrets Makeup brush cleaner and it's just a quick drying formula so I can use it like as I'm doing my makeup which is really neat. Next is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Coverage Foundation Concentrate and it's just a really like full coverage foundation and I'm always looking for new full coverage foundations. So I'm excited to try that. Another foundation. It's the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Um, this has been all over YouTube, so I'm very excited to try it. And the little guy is just super luxurious. Look at that. And it feels like super heavy. Well, not super heavy, but like it's, it's good quality. Um, and this is actually my first full-size Hourglass product, so I'm excited to try that. So the next item is for my giveaway, and it is the Victor & Rolf Flower Bomb Eau de Perfume Roller Ball. So I'm excited to be giving that to you guys very soon. Um, it should be around maybe like the beginning of August, mid-August I'll start. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do yet. I think I'll decide once my giveaway ends. Um, and then, which will be done by the time you're watching this. So I don't know. You'll just know in a video, okay? Okay. Um, and then I got another beauty blender because like I said, I'm doing a battle of the beauty sponges and I just don't want to use dingy sponges. I don't know. This just me? I don't know. Um, and then another Anastasia product. I got the clear brow gel 
just because I like my chocolate one, but sometimes because I have big eyebrows, I find if I didn't get much foundation on them while I was doing my makeup, then it just like, it looks too much. So sometimes I just use the chocolate one and sometimes I just want clear one and I have no clear ones right now. And yeah, I just really wanted this one to say here, it's really good. Um, the next item is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Chantilly and I'm actually pretty disappointed that I bought this because once me and Rika had gotten back we realized that NARS isn't cruelty free anymore and we tried to do our whole uh, haul being cruelty free so we came back and we came to news that they weren't cruelty free anymore. I'm so excited to try it and I'm not going to return it because I ain't driving four and a half hours just to return a concealer that's just not nah, that happening and it is a very raved about product so I am excited to try it just a little disappointed that NARS like caved like that's not cool like it's one thing if you're not cruelty free you don't want to but to be cruelty free and then to stop just for profits like pfft. at first I was boycotting Too Faced I'm currently not anymore and you'll see in this I'm not but I think I'm boycotting NARS. Like, not just, like, obviously I'm not going to purchase it, but, like, I'm not going to recommend it, even if I like it. I'm not going to recommend my lip gloss anymore. I'm not going to do anything. Um, so the next item is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and I know this isn't cruelty-free, but it's because it's my favorite mascara, and I wanted to be able to give it to you guys in, again, my back-to-school giveaway in a little travel size. Um, again, Leave comments down below if you can think of something that is just as good. I'm having a really hard time finding a cruelty free mascara that's just as good as that. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, next is a Too Faced item. So like I said, I'm not boycotting them anymore. Just as a general brand, they are pretty good. They're cruelty free, their products are really nice. And I'm just being cranky and it's sucks that they're like CEO. Well, he's not really the CEO anymore. I guess that's why I kind of, I'm going to let it go. Yes, he still, well, I guess he's still the CEO. He's just not the owner, but like you get what I mean. One person does not define a company. And even though they are the face of the company and that they shouldn't be doing that, I can't boycott them forever, you know? Um, so I got the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Matte Longwear Lipstick in the shade Wicked and it's like this forest green color. Um, obviously I like fun colors so I when this first came out I eyed it and I didn't like their original melted formula and then the girl told me to try it so I tried it on in the store and I instantly fell in love with it. It was amazing. I tried on the shade Jawbreaker too thinking I might that, like that one a little bit more but it just made my teeth look really yellow and it washed me out and it just wasn't cute. I didn't even put it on both lips so just put it on one and I could already tell and same with Marika and the other girl so the next item is a another Too Faced item and it's their glitter glue when we were there there was a Too Faced event going on and I'm going to talk about that again in a moment so they were we were looking at the Makeup Forever glitters which is okay so right here on the mandala there's like a little display and then there's Makeup Forever and then there's Too Faced so we were looking at the Makeup Forever glitters and we were like oh that's pretty and they're like no no no, no. like that's nothing you need to try the glitter glue with it underneath and then see it and I was like it was just no like you you need this in your life go get it go put it on and then put a glitter or even just a pigment or an eyeshadow we did all three and like I was mind blown I was like yep yeah, grab me one of those next is sea siren in the glitter eyeshadows from Stila again another item I'm really excited for I was hoping for Sunset Cove as well, but they didn't have it in stock, so I might order it online. And this is their duochrome shades. So this one is like a pink, blue, purple. Like, it's such a beautiful color. Can you see that? So pretty. So like I said, there was a Too Faced event going on. So when you bought two Too Faced items, you got this cute little bag. Um, so it has the Mean Girls quote, um, you're like really pretty, and then it's a Too Faced on the back, like Gary said, and then inside, they gave, um, the Sun Bunny bronzer, so if you don't know, it's like half and half, one's a lighter bronzer, one's a darker bronzer, I'm not gonna use this because I may give it in my giveaway or give it to a family member or friend, 
Um, they gave this sweet peach lip gloss in the shade Pure Peach, and I already tried it on, and it is beautiful. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this smell. Why can't this smell? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really think it smells like peaches. I think it smells more like candy. And I guess I should swatch it for you. Okay, that was like the worst. I'm so sorry, okay? Wookie! And a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Obviously a mint. I know, like, hey, I keep going, I keep going. The ladies at Cash, they, with our baskets, they kept, like, cashing it through, and they're like, oh, wow, there's more. Oh, wow, there's even more. They, I'm very sad for them that they do not work commission, because they would have loved us if they did. Well, they did. They didn't, like, hate on us or were rude to us. I was actually pretty impressed with our visit. They were pretty nice to us. But, like, I just, you get what I mean. I'm going to stop talking. Um, so again, another item from my giveaway is the Urban Decay Quick Fix um, Prep Priming Spray. This is one of my godsends. I love this. I use this every day on myself. I use it at work on clients when I'm doing makeovers. This is just a must-have, so I'm going to put it in the back-to-school giveaway. So that way you can help do your makeup or touch up during the day at school. Um, again, another item from my giveaway is the Tarte Tardiest Lip Paints. And... I forget what shades they're in. A rose and FOMO. So I have rose, it's a beautiful color, and then FOMO is just one of their best sellers. I'm trying to hide this so in case my daddy walks in while I'm filming, he ain't like, Sarah, why you need that? And I'm like, Daddy, I don't need that. And he'll be like, and I'll be like, but it's pretty. Like this video of you. Relate, okay? And so the next item is another item I'm super excited for, um, for a few reasons. Um, so it's the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment. And it has salicylic acid, of course, um, otherwise it probably wouldn't be an acne treatment. Um, but the really interesting thing about this is it feels like pore perfecting and it feels like that thin texture that would help with oil control, but it also feels like a moisturizer. Like, if you can think of every primer texture that you can think of, it has a little bit of those components in it. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to be. And I have a feeling this is going to be one of my favorite new primers. The next item is this Makeup Forever Metal Empty Kit. So it just comes with this little foamy thing. So I'm going to take that out now because now I'm home. So yeah, it just looks like this. And I love Makeup Forever shadows. They're probably my favorite shadows ever. They're absolutely beautiful. They're massive, full of pigment. They have so many colors. I wish they had more fun matte colors because it's hard choosing a matte color. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tell you the colors I got and then put them in the palette. I have this guy and it is the color ME230. And I hate Makeup Forever for their shadow names. Um, it's supposed to be a satin, but it was like more matte in the store. So I bought it anyways. Um, looking at it here, it looks satin for sure. But I feel like what's gonna happen is once the first layer's gone, it's gonna go to a more matte. So I'm gonna put that in my palette. Um, the next shadow, and this is the shadow I Looking for specific colors, but I caved on that for this because this color is absolutely beautiful and it is the shade D236 and it's this sparkly mermaid-esque teal color. It is beautiful and it is a metallic, so it's almost like a pressed glitter. They don't claim to be that, but it basically is and it looks like this. Look at that color though. I'm dying! Um, and then the last color I got, no, I did not get these colors to like co and spawn, like go together, but they kind of do, and I probably could make a look out of these. Um, and this color is like a matte, oh my goodness, um, like medium bright green. It looks a lot lighter in the camera, 
Um, but in person, it doesn't look as light as it is. It's S312. That, they're so pretty. So now I'm gonna swatch them for you. Oh, girl. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, now I just wanna show you how pigmented. So on my queen finger, look at me, okay, I'm gonna, one little swipe, okay? I'm gonna swatch again. Do you see why they're my favorite? That is beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna get some fun looks out of those. So surprisingly, that's it for today. I have a problem. Um, so yeah, that's all for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that thumbs up button and give it a like. Comment down below if you want me to do like a first impressions review on any of these items because you're curious on trying them or just because you want me to do that video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put up videos most Tuesdays and Thursdays. I've been slacking a little bit because um, just I've been really, really tired lately. And then when I wasn't tired, my computer wouldn't upload files because my startup disk was too full. But I got a new external hard drive. The first one I got wasn't working and then I went to the store and they helped me out. So now I have a new one and it's working and I actually have a video uploading as we speak right now. But I'm gonna look dumb because when you're watching this, you're gonna be like, yeah, Sarah, we already watched it. Um, and it's one of my Gen Beauty vlogs. So, and if you haven't seen it already, I'll put a little link in the description bar that I'm so sorry, I, I need to go, okay? Yeah, link will be in the description if you do want to see that. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.